Welcome back. Now it's time to talk business. We have Mr. Olumide Ayete Mimowa. He's a seasoned and prolific realtor. Now he specializes in something he likes to call land banking. Now we've been back and forth about this land banking thing in the studio, trying to figure out exactly what he means. But uh, it's great to have you on the show. Sure. Welcome. Thanks for coming to talk to us about it. Um, it's a pleasure. It's okay, a pleasure. so what is it? Land banking. Break it down for us. Land in it itself is an asset that cannot be stolen, stolen okay. that cannot be destroyed. Mm. It's, it's an asset that is right there, it's real, you can see it. And banking on land is keeping your cash where instead of losing money to inflation, okay. you, you increase the value of your money. Okay. Land banking is a way to improve your financial management give you depth in financial management with a skill that virtually many people need to learn. Okay. Especially in this new generation coming up, it mm. helps mm. personal development in a point whereby it teaches people from having frivolous spending. Mm. When you have cash banking, you put money in the bank, you can easily go there, maybe a, an emergency that you can cover, mm. you quickly go there, remove the money. So when, mm. when the average Nigerian thinks about banking yeah. these days, they think about having easy access to their money. Good. They also think of security. They yes. think of, you know, a safe place um, to store their savings. Yes. Right? But then they also want that easy access I mentioned earlier yes. on. It doesn't feel like, you know, banking on land will give me quick use of my, my finances. Am I wrong? Yeah. One of the greatest drawbacks in land banking yeah. is the waiting game. Okay. And that's why I teach people patience. Hmm. And... Um, for somebody who wants a financial future, you need to find a safe haven for yourself. And that is where land banking comes in. Okay. You keep something for the future. You can't spend it all. Okay. No matter how enticed you are about some things, you still have to learn to keep some things for yourself. Mm -hmm. Like if you want a future for yourself, many people who have future for themselves is because they kept a little bit of what they have mm -hmm. for the future. Oh. And um, putting money in the bank normally, which is the natural thing, doesn't really work again. Hmm. Because January 2020, if you put a millionaire in the bank, hmm. if you want to change it to dollar by December last year okay. or by January today, you will be surprised how much it's going to give to you. Okay. But where you can put your money, where you save it, hmm. and you are very sure that the value increases. Yeah. And if you are strategic about it, if you have the strategic pop, as in you are resourceful in your investment, whereby you invest in places that, are, that, that have good futures, okay. places that you know they have fast improvement coming up All right. in the future, it gives you an edge over a lot of things. This is where I ask you, you know, how long you've been into this and, and when the whole idea of land banking came to you. The beautiful thing about it is that I've not been here for long. Okay. But I've been hearing about it. I've been seeing how it works. Okay. And out of the urge of finding something to do, finding something that's going to be beneficial to me, myself, mm -hmm. and how to be beneficial to people around me. Mm -hmm. Because you get to a point where you, you get people calling you like, oh, big brother, please, can you help me out? Okay. Um, my friend, can you help me out? And you now realize you can still be of good help to people if mm -hmm. you can tell them how to go about it either going to land banking themselves yeah. or teaching people how to invest in it so every every business has its own iota of risk yes. uh, yeah. and any for every form of investment has risk to different degrees yes. so um, I know one of the key things people think about in Lagos is this issue of Omoniles, you know the land owners the original owners of the land land being resold and resold all over again, stolen and some people, you might even just get to the land you thought you bought last year and somebody has put a wall around it and built something there. They don't know what to do. So how have you been able to, you know, either curtail or bypass this issue? One of the first thing any buyer of real estate has to do is your proper due diligence. Okay. No matter as Nigeria is, especially in Lagos, even as we complain that lands is this, lands is that, because there's no documents, mm. you still have access to go and check okay. what is the documentation on this property. Mm. And in land banking, one of the very important things that we give ourselves as an edge mm. is this. Make sure you're selling what is good. Okay. Because it's a pedigree. It's, it's your... It is your, it's what people know you for. Okay. If you sell something and everybody go out there, mm. they see you like 
-hmm. They'll talk about it. You don't know who they are going to meet. Okay. And when they are ready to sit down, whether they're in London, they're in America, they are able to call you and like, I need to buy land. Hmm. I'm not even seeing it. But the fact that they can get their document over there, okay. they, as the due diligence already done, and one thing again is look for places that actually, I said it earlier, they have fast improvements coming through. Because okay. with that, you have proposed places that people have already planned, okay. made agreement with the government, taking away from government experience. I like there are a couple of trainings we give some other people mm -hmm. in regards to the documentation or land. Okay. Yeah. Because some documentation help you with uh, good uh, credit facilities. Mm -hmm. Some documentation help you to improve yourself. Okay, so let me see if I can get this right. So your, your, the, the term land banking isn't actually um, banking itself. Yes. It's, it's more of banking on land. Exactly. Banking on land. Exactly. Okay, so it has nothing to do with the actual banking sector. You no. Know, okay, beautiful. Just wanted know. to clarify it's that. It's not an investment scheme. No. Okay, all right, beautiful. Um, then, of course, you know, there is that due diligence you mentioned. Yeah. For maybe people that are wondering, you know, how to go about this due diligence, do you offer those kind of services? Yes, definitely. On the side? Definitely, I do offer type services like that, and mm -hmm. it's easy for you to go to Lagos, um, the Parastata and Lagos State, mm -hmm. to go and search about any land, okay. because um, that thing I've been sh making people shy away from from land, mm -hmm. because land in itself is not attractive like mm -hmm. the traditional real estate thing, like okay. um, um, rental apartments, yeah. commercial properties. But actually, it's the cheapest to invest in and see the ret return okay. in a longer period of time, okay. because the ROI of land is is sporadic. And still, just like okay. you said, there are some mistakes people make also, mm -hmm. which is like um, they make right. uh, they buy land just because they want to buy land. So you're making profits how? Because land itself is supposed to make profit for the person that buys it. Buys so where, it. Do you, where do you make money from? Oh, that? I get my commission on selling Okay. <laughs> the way you smiled there was very... So these <laughs> commissions are very nice. They're very glossy. Yeah, in regards to where I work, okay. GTX Homes, it is um, a consultant program they okay. give to a lot of people. And um, there's a practical opportunity given to everybody that wants to be a part of it. Okay. And um, it's, it's about building your future. What do you want for yourself? You want to learn about. Um, so you found you found this business. How were you just? Did you study it in school? Mm. Did you? Did someone introduce it to you? T tell us more. Actually, I was um, I was on the edge of like I need to get something going on. Okay. During the um, peak of the COVID peri uh, period, mm. then the lockdown, I mean to food processing. Okay. So I'm like, you cannot deal with this alone. Mm. So you look everywhere and eventually find out that there yeah, are a lot of opportunities out there, especially in real estate marketing. Okay. So in getting to know this opportunity, I got to meet, meet uh, GTEx mm -hmm. um, counselor and consultant program, okay. and we have a lot of facilitators giving us different opportunities on how to sell, okay. where to sell, how to go about meeting people. Okay. And so far during this period, it has been beneficial to me. Okay. Um, it helps in regards to, it teaches me a lot of things okay. personally. Uh -huh. And um, from all those around me, they can now see the changes, mm -hmm. and which is what we sell to people too. For me to find out how good this is, mm -hmm. is right now, if I was to offer you a job in an oil company today, right now, you know, right now, that gives you maybe a two million naira a month salary with all the trimmings, would you leave what you're doing right now? I'm sorry, I won't. To go for the oil company? I'm sorry, I won't. You won't? I won't. All right, so is that good? I might good, go huh? for the interview. <laughs> so I'll Just tell the them interview. about the land bank. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> I like you. All right, then. No, I have to say thank you for coming to share this yeah, with us. Um, but, you know, what's your final message to anyone who still has doubts about this? All right. My final message is this. Prepare yourself for the future. Okay. Prepare yourself for a transferable wealth. Okay. And wealth can be grown. All right. And teach yourself patience. All Invest right, in land. Invest in land. And there you have it. Thank you so much, uh, Olumide, for coming to talk to us about land banking, or should we say banking on land. Hopefully someone out there has learned a thing or two.